Navigating the negatives, mastering the third conditional. Hello, English language learners. Today, we're going to tackle an important part of English grammar that can be a little tricky. The negative forms in the third conditional. By the end of this video, you will be able to confidently construct and use these forms. So, buckle up, let's dive into the world of English grammar together. Firstly, let's remind ourselves of what the third conditional is. It's used to talk about imaginary or hypothetical situations in the past. It's often used to express regret, or to speculate what would have happened if the past were different. A third conditional sentence typically has two clauses, the if clause and the mon clause. Here's the structure, if clause, if plus past perfect, had plus past participle. Main clause, would have plus past participle. For example, if I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. Now, let's talk about forming negative sentences in the third conditional. You just need to add, not, after, had, in the, if, clause or after, would have, in the main clause. Here's the structure. If, clause, negative. If plus had not, or hadn't, plus past participle. Main clause, negative, would not have, or wouldn't have, plus past participle. For example, if I had not eaten so much, I wouldn't have felt sick. Here, both clauses are in the negative form. You can also mix positive and negative clauses. If I had not stayed up late, I would have been on time. Negative, if, clause, positive main clause. If she had called, we wouldn't have missed the meeting. Positive, if, clause, negative main clause. Negative third conditional sentences are used to talk about a situation in the past that did not happen and the result that did not happen because the first event didn't occur. They are great for expressing regret or relief about past events and speculating about different outcomes. For example, if we hadn't lost the map, we wouldn't have had such an adventure. Here, losing the map, which did happen, led to an adventure, which also happened. The speaker is perhaps expressing a bit of relief about the lost map because it led to an adventure. That's it, folks. I hope you now have a solid understanding of how to form and use negative forms in the third conditional. With practice, you'll be able to confidently use this structure in your spoken and written English. Remember, learning English grammar is like building a house, one brick at a time. So, keep practicing, keep learning, and you'll soon master the language. Until next time, Happy learning.